So first I'm going to go in and prime my face with the Clinique Face ID and I just do two pumps of this all over the face just to hydrate. And then I'm going to start going in with my primers. So my T-zone, I'm going to go in with the Vicente Laurent uh, Blur Primer. And I just like to put this on my nose, on my chin, and on the centre of my forehead because I get really oily in my T-zone. But I do like a glowy look. And then to glow up my base, I'm going to go in with the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Drops. And I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones. And I use this almost a bit like a moisturiser. For a radiant finish, I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation and I use this in the shade 4. And I like to just put this directly onto my skin. And then I apply mine with a stippling brush. I find that because this is a tinted moisturiser formula, it's really lightweight and it doesn't go streaky with a stippling brush so I just do circular motions to blend that in and I put mine all over the face um, sometimes if I'm using a full coverage foundation I won't go under the eyes just because I don't want to get too cakey under there but because this is quite lightweight, you can go under the eyes and then put concealer directly on top and it's not going to be too heavy. So I like to go directly under there and just apply it all over. So I'm just going to go in with my Beauty Blender. It's slightly damp from yesterday, so I don't like to use it where it's completely damp. I find it just gives too much sort of like dewiness to the skin. Um, but I'm just going over my eyes. I get quite creasy under eyes and lids, so I just like to go over those areas and around my nose just to make sure that that area is set. And then we go in with concealer. For concealer, I am going in with my Charlotte Magic Way Liquid Concealer. Look how disgusting that is. These are amazing, um, but the packaging's really rubbish. They just sort of implode like in on themselves it just goes everywhere uh there's really no way of keeping this clean and the lids are quite hard to get off as well once they start sort of getting messy like this from the top of the sponge but otherwise i really like it i find it's the right amount of coverage um yeah, I do really like them. The packaging's just a bit of a downfall. So to pop this in to the skin, I'm going to use my sponge. I don't like to use a stippling brush for concealer. I just find it just sort of moves everything else around and doesn't allow it to really sit and sort of get its full potential. Um, so I like to press this in with a sponge. going to set with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Under Eyes Powder. This is the one that comes in the mini pot and it's like a white um, colour. So I like to put this on directly under the eyes and I just like to use my little Real Techniques brush to do this.
and then just brush off any excess onto the top of the lids. And then for the rest of the face, I'm going to go in with my Chanel Loose Powder. This is in the shade number 20, and I just put this into the lid and then get a big brush and pat it on. For bronzer, I'm going in with my NARS Laguna. This is the radiant version. They do a matte version as well. They, this is one of their new formulations that they've brought out. I think it was about a couple of months ago now. Um, so I've got the radiant version. And I'm just going in with my domed uh, Real Techniques brush. This is the blush brush I really like this it does give a slight bit of a glow when the light hits it which I think is really nice if you want sort of something that's going to add radiance to the skin and give you that sun-kissed look rather than a matte finish where it's just not going to get it's going to give you like a contour but we want to keep that glowy look so I think the radiance in it is really nice and then now I'm just sort of blending in the rest of the face and just working that in Next I'm going to go in with my NARS Orgasm Blush, this is the mini version and I just find this is like the perfect pink, um, it's got some reflex of gold in it which is quite nice on the cheeks, so I really love this for bridal. And I like to build this up slowly and I take my blush all the way back, I like it to blend into my bronzer. And then I am going to put the tiniest little bit on my nose. Because I quite like that sort of sun-kissed look on my nose as if you've just caught the sun a little bit. And then I'm going to go back in with my Laguna and just add some bronzer to my nose just to contour it a little bit for highlighter I am going in with my Chanel highlighter in number 10 ivory gold and I'm just going to take this on a fan brush And I'm just applying this onto my cheekbones and coming slightly up into that brow bone. Next, we are doing eyes. I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way palette in the Neutral Nudes. And I'm going to do something quite simple. Go in with a colour in the crease. I'm going to first use Nude. And then I'm going to add some shimmer at the end. So I'm just taking a domed crease brush and lightly blending that through my crease. I don't want anything too heavy um, but just enough to sort of lift, lift the eye. 
Next I'm going to go in with Shimmer and Pearl, this shimmery shade just up here. This is like a gold shade and I'm just going to add that to the front of my lid. And then I'm going to go in with my finger into the lighter shade and I'm just going to put that on the inner corner. And I'm actually going to put a little bit right on the centre. And then I'm going to do a little bit of wing liner but with eyeshadow. So I just like to do this on the outer corner. So I'm just going in with this darkest shade right here. literally apply it like liner and I like to do this because I find it really softens the look so you can have that cat eye effect but without like a liquid liner because I sometimes find for me that's just too bold so I'm just doing that And I like to do mine on the outer corner. Um, moving on to brows. I recently picked up this new brow product from L'Oreal. It's the Micro Tattooge. Tattooge. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Um, but it is their Unbeliever Brow. So it's meant to be like a fibre. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got those ridges. Um, I've been trying it out and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, basically. It runs out of liquid in it. Like, I've literally had it for a week. I've used it almost every day. And I just find sometimes these work and have liquid in them and sometimes it's dry as a bone. So let's see what's doing for me today. Not a lot. <laughs> um, like I love the concept, but it's hard work. And there are days where it's full of liquid and it kind of does look quite great um but then there's days where i just sort of draw it on like this now you can see it's not really doing a lot oh it's squishing some out you have to push down quite hard I mean, I, I kind of wish it did work because it's meant to be like natural brow strokes. I mean, you can kind of see it trying to break through. Um, I'm very fair, so I don't like anything that's too heavy for me. But this was £10 and yeah, I just kind of expected more for that price and it's I've not had it long so I'm now going to go in with my Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder I've got this in the shade free and I go in with the lighter shade and this is what I used to use all the time and now I've kind of just gone back to it to put it on top of this stuff that's not really doing a lot for me and I just sort of brush it over the top, um, like so. I kind of just follow my brow 
and then just add a little bit to it like on top and do this um yeah if you've got light brow hairs recommend me some things to try out i've tried out the benefit range and i do really like it um i'm currently trying out a new brow gel by maybelline which i'll be using in a minute but I've seen really good reviews about the Refi stuff by Jess Hunt. Um, I really want to try out her, bri her um, brow kit. So I think I'm going to order that and give it a go. And I'll do a video on what I think. Because anything that's going to like stick up my brows and just make them look thicker is a bonus. Because I don't have much brow. Um, but then I am getting my brows combination tattooed on, um, which is like a mixture of a micro blade and then like an ombre like tattoo, um, put through. So hopefully I'm not going to need to actually do my makeup after that. And then I'm just going in, this is a little brush that I've got that I like to use to just put a bit of concealer on and go back over my eyebrows just to tidy up anywhere where I might have just gone out of line a little bit and then I'm going in with another brush just to soften that front bit because I don't like it to be too boxy so I'm just blending that in a little bit and then brow gel this is just a clear brow gel by Maybelline this is the brow fast sculpt and I quite like it I mean it works as a brow gel it's it's a very wet consistency um, and it does brush my brow hairs up but because my brows are quite thin I find I need something that's got a little bit of color in it and I just couldn't find the right color with this one or they didn't have it in stock so I just bought the clear which is okay but I do want to try some coloured gels and then we are going in with mascara and I'm currently using the Maybelline Snap Scara and then I also like to use which I haven't opened yet my Chanel Sublime Mascara. So I'm going to try this as well for today. On the lashes. So first I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Mascara. like so and this has got a curved brush as you can see I find these are the best like I don't I can't really get my head around like how mascara wands work like I don't know how that makes my lashes curlier but it does um so I like to use these I just find like I say, I just find they curl your lashes nicer. Um, my lashes are quite short, so I need all the help I can get to help me out and make them look somewhat lifted. And then for the bottom lashes, I'm going to use the same mascara and I just wiggle that sort of just, I don't like, to, like them to be sort of like too coated. I just wiggle that. I'm happy and then we are going in with the Chanel Sublime Mascara I find this is just like super black this is my second tube of this stuff really like it but I just find it super black 
it's quite it's not um it's not clumpy but the way the brush is it's a fairly biggish brush so when you apply it on top of other mascara I find it just sticks really well and just adds a thickness um to the lashes and it's also waterproof i thought it was that's why i bought it because my lids are they're not hooded they're a little bit hooded so i find i have to put a waterproof mascara on top of my normal mascara because this isn't waterproof so it just stops it transferring onto my upper lid which we need right now because the weather we've been having recently is super hot here like that next i am going in with lips and i'm gonna go in with dance floor princess this is my all-time favorite lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury it's also extremely popular for brides because it's just like the perfect pink um, and it's also not far from people's natural like lip color I, a lot of my um, brides are a similar skin tone to myself and I find this just it just really complements that skin tone it just looks so beautiful it's not too dark it's not too light um yeah i really love it okay and then i'm gonna be extra and i'm gonna go in with a little bit of nars star babe lip gloss And I'm just putting it in the middle. And that is the finished look. So I'm going to come in closer to show you. So as you can see, it's a super glowy look. I've done the eyeliner with eyeshadow. I find this creates just like a really smoky look without it being too intense and too glam. And the lipstick, I think, is super nice. This combo is really nice. And, yeah, this is what I've gone for for my bridal-inspired makeup look. Cute. Amazing. Um, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment below videos that you want me to do in the future um i've got lots of ideas but it's always helpful to know what you guys want to see and i will see you in my next video bye guys i won't make it easy for you now